Let's solve the congruence problem. 5 raised to 6 to the 19th plus 18th power congruent to x mod 17. So Fermat's theorem states that for any integer a, not divisible by p, where p is a prime, a to the p minus 1 is congruent to 1 mod p. p here is 17, a is 5. So we have 5 to the 16th is congruent to 1 mod 17. And this allows us to reduce the powers of 5 modulo 16. In other words, the exponent cycles every 16. So we could just look at the current exponent of 5, which is 6 to the 19th plus 18 mod 16. So to solve this, it's pretty simple. We have to look at powers of 6. So let's look at 6 to the 1st. That's congruent to 6 mod 16. 6 squared is 36. That's congruent to uh, 4 mod 16. 6 cubed, you could just do 4 times 6. Basically multiply 6 squared by 6, 4 times 6. That's 24 minus 16 is 8 mod 16. And again, multiply by 4, 8 times, I'm sorry, multiply by 6, 8 times 6 is 48. 40 mod 16 is 0. Now, no matter what uh, power of 6 I multiply both sides, I'm always going to get uh, congruent to 0 mod 16. So I need to get 6 to the 19th power, so I still need 6 to the 15th to multiply. 6 to the 15th times 6 to the 4th is 6 to the 19th. And then 6 to the 15th times 0 is just 0 mod 16. And then I need to add the 18. So I'm going to add both sides by 18. And so eighteen mod sixteen is just two mod sixteen. So this exponent reduces to, to just two. So instead of saying five raised to the six to the nineteenth plus eighteenth, I can just say five squared is congruent to x mod seventeen. Five squared is twenty five. And let's see, what is 25? What's the remainder when I divide 25 by 17? Well, it's going to be 8. So 25 is congruent to 8 mod 17. So to answer this final question, the remainder is going to be 